President Obama claimed a victory in the war on terror today, announcing that the U.S. has killed the leader of al-Shabaab, an Islamic extremist group in Somalia. David Martin learned how it happened. When it finally got a shot at Ahmed Godan, the U.S. military fired a total of 11 precision-guided weapons at the target. On Monday, a U.S. surveillance aircraft followed Godan's car as it drove through al-Shabaab territory in the south of Somalia and stopped in an encampment where it appeared a meeting was about to take place. An unmanned Reaper drone moved in for the kill, launching one 500-pound bomb and volleys of smaller missiles. The Reaper made repeated passes over the target, firing at any sign of life. The air crews were confident Godan had been killed, but U.S. intelligence had to confirm it, searching for him in all his usual haunts and finding no sign of him, as well as eavesdropping on cell phone conversations among his followers talking about his death. Four days almost to the minute after the strike, the Pentagon officially declared Godan dead calling it a major symbolic and operations loss to al-Shabaab. Godan was a co-founder of al-Shabaab and had announced an alliance with al-Qaeda, vowing to follow in Osama bin Laden's footsteps. One year ago, he claimed responsibility for an attack on a shopping mall in Kenya, which killed and injured dozens of shoppers. The U.S. military had spent months tracking Godan after an earlier operation to kill him had been called off at the last minute. This time, Scott, they were taking no chances. David Martin at the Pentagon. David, thank you very much.